Just how bad is the thermal paste that comes pre-applied on Intel stock coolers, and what happens if we replace it with a top-performing high-end thermal paste instead? Well, to find out, I got my hands on an unopened Intel stock cooler, and I know these caught a lot of flack for just not performing all that well, but I will always respect its design of not needing any additional hardware to get plugged into a motherboard. But regardless of that convenience, we can measure its performance in this top-left line graph, which is CPU temperature, and under load, we can see that it mellows out around 82-83 degrees Celsius. Now, under the hood, we can see that this default thermal paste didn't spread all that much, and so if we replace it with a higher end thermal paste and try to make sure we use roughly the same amount, now we can add back our cleaned off stock cooler, and if we put the CPU under the exact same stress, well, not only do we see a more gradual increase of temperature, we also see a plateau around 5 degrees cooler than with the default thermal paste. So this shows you can definitely improve the performance of your Intel stock cooler by just adding different thermal paste, but the difference isn't going to be uber crazy. Do you think the same can be said for AMD's stock cooler? 